Hey, so in this episode, we're going to be building a web application that utilizes the Open OpenAI's GPT-3 REST API so that we can interface with a custom model. So if you don't have a custom model, that's okay. You can still use it to interface with GPT-3. But if you watched our previous episode, we trained a custom model on Radiohead lyrics so that it would auto-complete a song. So we're gonna utilize that to build a little web application that's gonna generate Radiohead songs from the first line of the song. Cool, so the first thing we need to do is build out our little form. So I'm gonna just do um, Radiohead song generator, and then we're gonna do an input uh, and a button. And then we need a div that's gonna contain the output goes here. Okay, cool. So now we can write some JavaScript around that. Let's just make sure. So we've got a little form and we're gonna set it up so that when you type something in here, you click generate, it's going to spit out a Radiohead song. Cool. So when we click our button, we are going to then send out a fetch request using OpenAI's API. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna call the completions API. And this is gonna allow us to send in our data where we're gonna input our prompt and it returns the completion. So we need to add our API key. So doing this, you just type in authorization bearer and then your API key. I already have mine in here, but you're gonna to wanna to get that from um, your OpenAI's website. So if you just go Go here, go up to here, and click View API Keys. That's where you'll find it. And again, don't put this in your client application. You want this to come up from a server somewhere. So then what we can do is pass in the body. So we need to create our data object, which is gonna pass in all the information, basically our prompt. So this is gonna look like and then we specify, let's see, is that right? So we'll just type in model. We'll do Da Vinci first. Then we'll put in our prompt, which will be the input value. But we also want it to include the separator that we used when we generated our model, which looked like that. And then there's some other values we can use as well. But let's play around with this first. And we need to pass this into our body. We'll stringify that data looks right and then when this is done we'll return it as JSON and then we'll get our data out 
and we need to get so let's give this an ID. Okay. And then we're going to append the output, which comes back as a data object. We can look at this, but it's just, um, it's got a, it, it can have multiple choices, and then we want the text property, which will be the response we want from that. Cool. So let's go ahead and test this out. Okay. So let's see. So right now it's not going to do Radiohead songs because we're just using um, regular GPT-3 with the Da Vinci model. Let's um, say hello. Let's see what we get here. Cool, so we get some output, which is fine. Um, so now what we can do is we can actually specify the model that we had. Um, so I'm gonna copy and paste this from the last video. And this is the name of the specific model that we had trained on Radiohead lyrics. So if I give it this combined with this prompt and this like separator to d denote the end of the prompt. Hopefully it'll give out something that resembles Radiohead lyrics. Let's give it a try. Um, so let's start by giving it something easy. Yeah, so we get it. And we can also increase the, the character amount. So if we go back in here, we can pass in max tokens we can set that to 100. Okay, and then if we go back here and refresh, do this, let's see what we get now. Yep. Cool, and then we get creep. So we can also do things that aren't Radiohead songs. So if we say, I don't know, So it generates what it considers Radiohead lyrics. So something else we could do right now, because it doesn't have that first line of the song, we could set the output to be, we could just append the prompt to the output. There we go. And that's pretty much it. So now we have an application that will take a first line, is trained on a bunch of Radiohead lyrics, and will output, based on whatever you put in it, new Radiohead lyrics. Um, you can also play around with other variables, like we could play around with the, um, the temperature um, to make it either more or less random. But you can play around with these values. You could also hook this up to a slider so that you could adjust these and actually see how they um, impact the data. Um, and there's some, a bunch of other values you have here too. So within their API, they kind of go through in the documentation all the different things you can do here. They also have a node package that you can use. We just use the REST API because it's pretty simple to use by itself. Um, but if you want to use their node package, you can use that as well. Um, but it goes through all the different um, things you can do. This is what we did. We just made a request with a custom model. And then you can also even do fine tunes using their REST API. So all the things we did in the previous episode on the command line, you can do via JavaScript through the REST API. And they have uh, all the documentation for that as well. So it's pretty powerful stuff, pretty cool. It's all. Um, out there for us to play with. Thanks for checking it out.